Hey guys, we're live. It's Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis. It is Wednesday night. Hello. And I just saw that McLeod just subscribed. Woo woo, Shoshi time. Subscribe for four months in a row. That's so awesome. Thank you so much. And I'd love to. McLeod, I'm going to write your name down real quick. If I find my pen, it's always. There it is right there. Aha. Got it. So today we're going to be painting more of this commission of. Um, the uh, Daughters of Cain, and I'm still working on these little harpy gals. So we're gonna we're gonna finish those up because I really want to get those done, and then we're gonna start on these other chicks that I've got. There's like ten more models left, and I gotta get them done. I gotta get them before the end of November, for sure. So you're gonna get to watch. So stick around if that's something you are interested in. Let's take a look here. I'm gonna write down the clad. Yay! Thank you so much. Let's two subscribers over here. Is that legible? How are you, McLeod? Hopefully you're having a good day. There we go. Oh, you can read it. Awesome. M C4 B L4D. Woohoo! There you go. Awesome. 
like seeing your name up on the board. Hello, Teviston. How's it going? I'm just putting, I'm putting all my paints that I already used onto the palette and there's already, you can see there's little blurps and stuff I'm gonna have to clean up. My biggest challenge with this sort of commission is not trying to go back and I keep like, you know, trying to fix stuff, trying to go back, over painting. I'm putting, I'm gonna put everything on the palette to begin with because um, I feel like that will save me a lot of time. So we've got, we've got a bunch of different things here. Oop, let me move this. We've got the burgundy, is it burgundy? Burgundy from, um, from a creature caster. Is it burgundy? Mahogany, I, I am corrected. Rebel Star Raider, I am well, thank you so much. Good day, watching on the car ride home from Maine. Oh, I hope that you're not driving, unless there's some way to listen and drive, then you can do that, okay? Just don't watch me and drive, that's a bad idea. <laughs> um, what else, let's see. Um, we've got some tan flesh by Krill. This is a Reaper color right here. This is the Breast Cancer, Support Breast Cancer Awareness Month paint. They put this out every October. Um, it's a special one. This is a sample paint. I'm just going to call this like a pinkish magenta-ish, right? I don't, it doesn't have a color name. It may not ever get sold again. That's the thing about those samples. And then this is clear magenta from Reaper. And I've got that right here. So clear magenta, my hot pink, my breast cancer awareness pink, uh, tan flesh and mahogany. And then I just need my metals, which are somewhere on my thing. Here we go. We've got dark silver. Put that on here. I don't have that much dark silver. Hey, Modal, how's it going? I am doing pretty well. Hopefully you are too. I know that uh, it's been tough this month, but we'll all get through it, right? It's just one day at a time. Not yet, but you'll switch to listening and driving. Okay, good, 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 good. This one is the beautiful bronze. I love this color. I asked them to put out a brown metallic and they did, and I'm so happy with it. What's nice is you can add some transparent brown to this and make it an even darker, nice color. So, so we talked about this, how sometimes the, um, the ball bearing gets caught up in here and I just have to smack it. And I apologize if you're wearing headphones in advance. I will try not to do that too much. Like I said, if we're putting it all onto the palette at once, then hopefully that won't happen again. And then I've got lovely copper. One of your gripes about, yes, is not having a bright pink. Yes. Um, you know, and that's not the only one that doesn't have a bright pink. Even uh, Procryl, this is magenta. It's it's not, see, even that's kind of desaturated. It's not even bright. Pinks and purples are not easy colors. I'll say that. Both of them are are tricky. Sometimes I'll go, I'll go with the fluorescent to get, to get, oh, that is really not coming out. Hold on, let me, sorry again for the, there, now I heard it. You can kind of hear the thunk of the metal ball going down and then, yep, there, and now it's on the, on the pet. Look at how beautiful these metallics are. Look at how smooth, they're like liquid metal. That's why I love Pro Acryl for metallic. Well, I like their whole line, but I really love their metallic and their transparents are just, all right, I think I got everything. I do need some, I had some turquoise. <gasps> there it is. This is, um, I can hardly read it. Surf Aqua 99078. This is gonna be for, there's various little straps. And eh, maybe not. Aw, Jamie G, thank you for the subscription. Mad love. We're gonna write down five months streak, six months. Total, that is amazing. Thank you so much, Jamie G. And in case you didn't know, um, if you're new to the channel or if you haven't watched me all that long, um, all of my subscriptions go back to the channel and improving it. And 
um, up here, you can see right here, we have a donation goal that is specifically geared toward getting new, oh, we got a gecko, <laughs> oh, Bulos, of course. Give me one second. Um, but anyway, this goal right here is for buying music for the stream. And actually, we, this $50, that's how much one song costs. And so we've already got one song. I've got it all, it's gonna be ready pretty soon. I just need to invoice the guy and buy the rights and everything, and then it is good to go. There we go, that's Surf Aqua. And then last, I think I need a little white and a little ivory, I think. This is the bold titanium white. Ooh, that is a little bit chunky, I don't know. I think if there's some dried paint in there, let's see if I can get that to come out. Oh, good. That's good. All right, these are a lot of colors, but it's still a limited palette. That's a very pretty palette, isn't it? Lots of um, cool tones, actually. These, this one is warm, but I'd say these, these are kind of cool reds. This is cool. This is warm. This is warm. That's that's warm. Hmm, you could say that's even cool because if you, I don't know, I think it, I think I'm leaning toward warm with that one, but yeah, even this white is very cold. Beautiful color palette, thank you. So, Bulos just um, unlocked the Get Out of Gecko, um, which I will do in a little bit. We only have like a few people watching right now, so I like to wait until we have a little bit bigger stream. Um, but I will definitely get out the Gecko. Yeah, it is warm, isn't it? This is warm, isn't it? I think so too. Cool, warm, cool. Is this one cool? I think it's, it's, it's a pink. So I'd say these are kind of cold pinks. I'm not sure. Not all reds are warm, right? Yep. Use Vallejo squid pink. Oh, that sounds cool. Do I have very much? I don't have very much Vallejo. I'm gonna be using some more in you know in the future, but I currently don't have a lot of Vallejo. Then I need an ivory. Oh, I wanna, whoo, that was crazy. I wanna show you this. I've been working on the bust. Now, don't get scared. This is still work in progress. There's a lot to go on this. I need to really pump up some of the light sources on this, which means I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a spray of white to bring back all my nice highlights. But I have all my darks in place and you can see where this is going anyway. Like I said, it's still a whip. It's looking cool. If you guys like it, that makes me happy. But this is kind of the direction we're going with this. And I am trying to teach myself how to paint this so I can teach you guys. I like how this weathering on this anchor is going. It feels cool to me, I like that. Looks finished, it's definitely not finished. When, when you guys see the finished look, you'll be really happy. Um, but there's a ways to go. We wanna, we wanna make it look, uh, look good enough that, you know, any one of you guys could paint this and maybe put it into some kind of, you know, show or something, yeah. Thank you, McLeod, and, and Bulos and Modal, I appreciate it, I really do. Because I've been anxious, I, it's really, I don't know how to say it. It's like, it makes me, I really want to do the best for you guys. But it, you know, the whole um, trick is that I have to teach myself how to paint it. There's, n I'm using absolutely zero um, references outside of some, you know, artwork I found that has nothing to do with this bust. And, um... Yeah, so I'm kind of teaching myself to paint this, but then I also have to do it in such a way that it's easy enough for you guys to follow because I want you to be able to do it too. And that's that's the hard part. I want to show you. I'm using a three today. It's my newest Windsor Newton, so it still has a nice tip to it, but it's also my biggest, so it's I'm going to try. I don't know if it's going to work. And, oh, shoot, I have a bottle cap. I'm going to put... That one has some stuff in it. Let's use this bottle cap. I'm gonna put my mixing medium, right here, P3 mixing medium, and some flow improver. That's probably good. 
because I want these blends to be nice. That's gloss varnish. Here's Flowade. There we go. You love the anchor, but you feel it needs to be brighter, rust, to emphasize the vertex. I 100% agree. I'm gonna send you some pictures. Belos has really good senses of color. And so I'm gonna send him, ooh, that had some paint in the brush. Interesting. All right then. Oh, that's because I just stuck it in the burgundy. All right, that's fine. We will deal with it. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this on the model to begin with. It's got the, it's got the flow. Uh, slow, sorry, slow dry already in it. So hopefully that will slow things down already. And then we'll add this. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And it's giving me a nice blend as we speak. So if you're, if you're wanting help blending, get out those mediums. They will help. Um, if you don't have flow aid or, or the mixing medium, you can use that um, Lamia medium, that's also a, a nice, nice, it's probably real similar. That's nice of you to say. Well, it's true. I think uh, all of you guys have your own talents and specialties and I for sure like to draw on my, my audience for help in things. All right, I'm painting these little. All right, I wanna know who in my chat, if anyone got Disney Plus so they could watch The Mandalorian. I got it, we got it last night, of course, because we are huge Star Wars fans. I'm not gonna tell you guys anything about it. I'm just gonna tell you it's really cool and I really liked it and I'm really excited to see what else they do. And I'm excited to see more Star Wars stories and the Star Wars universe getting developed because I feel like it's almost like a D&D, &D, you know, like there's so much, so much stuff there. Modal says, I got it and I watched that last night. The ending has everyone hooked in my circles. Yes. Like I said, I'm not going to give away too much. I think everyone needs to experience that ending in their own way. That's a definitely a no spoiler thing had such a good time though um i so disney disney plus is geez it's like every disney they every disney movie they ever put out almost not quite but they put out a lot of them and man i saw some oldies fantasia that was such a good movie um and there's some problematic parts with Fantasia, which I hope they kept out, but um, the other parts are not too bad. I really enjoyed those. You love the anchor. Let's see, I already read that part. I heard people using varnish for medium. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Anything that's going to thin out your paint but not make it break and separate is is going to be perfect, you know. There we go. I like this. Yep, you watched it earlier this afternoon. Oh my gosh. I'm excited that everybody's watching it. Well, said, uh, are you blending the edge? Um, yeah, I'm just using a wet brush and I'm trying to kind of smooth it. I'm not trying to be super detailed with it and blend it perfect because it's going to take me too long. And technically this is supposed to be like a tabletop commission. And so I got to watch my time because this, this whole commission is already potentially going to be a huge time sink. So we got to, we got to make the best and try to paint accurately the first time. Does that make sense? Make as few mistakes as possible. This isn't a make beautiful mistakes project. This is a 
make as few mistakes as possible. And justify another streaming service when you have, I know, we're gonna give up Netflix for the time being. We have Hulu, Netflix. I think that might be all. And I don't really play, you know, video games or anything, so we're not spending, I'm not spending money, my husband is, spending money on like Steam stuff. Um, I got the stars package for Hulu because I want to watch Outlander because that is one of my favorite shows right now, but it's currently on hiatus. Um, but I, it's, I don't know. It's, there's something about it that I, it's one of those shows I can watch over and over again. If you haven't watched Outlander and you have Hulu with stars, give it a shot because I think it's definitely worth a watch. Got, it's got history, it's got romance, it's got action. I mean, it's it's packed. It's got a freaking amazing storyline. And justify, let's see. A lot of complaints about the Simpsons aspect. Ra ration, really? <laughs> You're happy with a D plus at the moment? Oh, Disney Plus. What why are why are people complaining about the Simpsons of all things? I didn't even know The Simpsons was owned by Disney. That is, and that's what was a big surprise to me. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't really, I never really watched The Simpsons too much. I never watched South Park that much. A lot of those animated adult shows I didn't get into. Disney put disclaimers at the big, oh yeah, I saw that. That's really, I think that's smart not being current view of Disney and left them. Wait, Disney put disclaimers at the beginning of many problematic movies about not being current view. I thought that was very smart. Yep, yep, yep. Everything, because, you know, kids are watching these and they don't know that this isn't, you know, this isn't new. If they have never seen it before. Must be hard to draw the line when painting commissions and painting, yes, and painting to a price. Yes, it is. Um, and I do the best I can. Sometimes I over deliver because of it. So I I, I almost never under deliver. If anything, I'm gonna probably over paint it and it's gonna be better than you thought it was gonna be. And I think, you know, that gives customers the option to, you know, tip you if, if, if they feel like you've done a better job, right? My main thing is try to have as few little blurps. See, there's these blurps I gotta get out. Thankfully, this paint is fairly, um, see, it's fairly opaque. It covers itself up pretty quickly. And if I don't have to make lots of fixes, then I'm good. All right, I need to show you this is, one of these is finished. I think it's this girl, yeah. And you can see, oh, there, see, she's so nice. I have all this beautiful red in the corners. I forgot my red. Let's do the transparent reds because I think it'll be faster. Oh, where is it? No, I don't know where my transparent red went. Here it is. There it is. I told them they need to come out with the transparent magenta and a transparent teal and there was one other thing I wanted. Now I don't remember what it is. All right, there's my transparent red on there. Doop do. You have, oh, you have crunchy roll too. You only really use Crunchyroll. Is that a, that's more of a phone thing. Do you, can you use that? Can you use Crunchyroll on, um, on your computer? I guess you could, couldn't you? I don't watch anime that much because I can't, can't watch anime and, um, paint at the same time because I don't really care. I don't really care for the dubs, right? I like to listen to the the actual thing. See how I put that medium in there and that smoothed everything out. Now I won't get that tea stain. So let's put the medium in first. Put the medium in first on all of these little 
wing pieces and then we can put the red in and see how it just blends nice into it. Disney went from normal to widescreen on the first 20 seasons and it cuts 25% of the show on the left, right. Oh, bummer. Yeah, that's the downside of watching movies on TV, especially if you're watching on your phone. Like some of these movies, they were not meant to be watched on a tiny little screen. All right, you can see this is starting to run. I don't want that. I just wanna have a little bleed, a little like a watercolor bleed kind of thing. Kind of. I don't even know. That might not be the right word. There. That's better. Either way, it looks okay. All right. Disney owns Fox. Fox owns Simpsons. Oh, when did that, did that happen? Has that been always the case? I feel like I'm in the dark. I didn't even know that. Disney owns Fox. I missed, I missed that acquisition. Although not surprised. Problem is that seasons aren't, many seasons aren't on DVD and the ratio cuts, oh, sight gags are ruined. That's bummer. Is that what people were complaining about with The Simpsons? That would make, especially if you're a fan, that would make a big difference. I can for sure understand that. If like, I'm a big fan of, you know, Star Wars, if that happened and I like watched Star Wars movies get cut a bunch, I'd be like, mm, I'm not so happy. Beautifully demonic. Thank you, Modal. Yes, that's my goal. I want these girls to be demonic in a little bit because I feel like the, the dark colors makes them a little bit more menacing, right? A little bit. Okay, so wings wings are good. Let's look at her again. I think we've got pink boots. That's good. We need to paint the gold. Let's do the gold next. Actually, her whole arm needs to be fixed because there's overspray on it. Notice that I'm using this giant brush and I'm still able to paint what I need to. There we go. And I can leave that other pink overspray there in the shadows and it's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Use it to work with you. Okay. That's much better. All right. I'm just checking to see if there's any other peach. I need to do the sickle with the silver. Give me one second. I will look back at chat. I'm just, when my glasses are off, I'm gonna take a minute to concentrate. I love painting for you guys. I want you to know it means so much to me that you guys come to my channel every day just to watch me paint and learn. And, you know, I just, I wanna give stuff to you too, so. Don't forget, we're gonna be doing our subscriber giveaway on the, near the 16th. Let me see what's, that's really soon. We've got three days. What day is that? So the 16th is Saturday. So we'll do our giveaway Friday, okay? So if you come back on Friday, we're gonna have a subscriber giveaway. And I think we are gonna give away this Redgrass Games um, ergonomic paint holder for miniatures. Oh, there's a little note in there. Hold on, I gotta look at that. I didn't even see that. I wonder what it says. I didn't, <laughs> that would be funny if I sent it to whoever. Hope you will enjoy the, the Redgrass Games 360 miniature holder as much as we do. Oh, that's awesome. Well, whoever gets this is going to enjoy it because I already have the prototype and so I don't need another one. Um, I have this one. And I, I enjoy it. And I hope that you guys will too. Because what, um, in fact, we can try using the prototype today. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. I can turn it around and around. It does fit in my hand really nice. 
We'll be giving this away to all you beautiful subscribers. We'll give that away on Friday and I'll be sending that out. Sneaky red. I know they, they hit a note and I love it. All right, I'll put that away. <laughs> hey, Winter, how are you? You're in the same, you're the same way. You can't watch anime while you work or nothing happens. Well, yeah, I just can't, I can't work anime and work because I'm watching TV or I'm not watching the anime at all. More than likely, I'm not watching the anime at all. All right, I see a little, again, another little blurb. I don't like this. Fix, fix, fix. There we go. Get those little, those things. I just want the model, I don't, if it's gonna be tabletop, it at least needs to be clean, clean tabletop. See how there's no T lines? Cause we put that medium in there. It looks so nice. You have your iPad and you cast it to your TV. That's a good idea. Let's see, why wouldn't they just preserve the aspect ratio and add black at the sides? Yeah, that's a, I don't know. I have no, I mean, I don't, that is a good question. Why wouldn't they do that? I think she's done. That's done. That's why we were working, we're working on this one now. I like how these little things, they fit right down into that little, there, perfect. All right, now, she's just, being held on by her little bitty tail. So she's gonna wiggle a little bit. So I might put my finger on her just to brace her a little bit. And I believe, let me just check. I think, yeah, we painted her armor brown or burgundy to start. And that's what I'm gonna do. And then we painted the, the gold over the top. And I'm gonna do that again. And the reason being we did the, the reason why we did that was to avoid having to paint any kind of drop shadow effect. Which I think it was actually a good idea. It worked out. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do this little armband thing. Got a couple armband things. With the nice big brush, you don't have to worry about just, you know, you don't have to worry about the paint drying because the water in the brush is holding everything um, and hydrating everything together. There we go. Okay, a little bit more over in here. There we go. Mm. Looking amazing. The palette is great. Thank you, Winner. Winner is awesome. If you haven't followed Winner before, he is on actually a lot during the day and is a really great person to watch. Um, so give him a follow. Catch one of his streams. Such a great painter, too. He's going to start getting all Canadian on me in a minute and start, like, blushing. <laughs> Just don't apologize for being great, okay? <laughs> all right, I'm painting all the little handlebars and armor pieces that are hooked to her shield. I'm going to eventually um, paint the Reichlin flesh shade on in a minute here. Like I said, first we have to get all this blacked out. And there's another little ring. There's a couple rings around her tail, which are kind of cool. Oop, she's wiggling a lot. All right, let me look at chat. I see, I see winter. Winter! <laughs> see, I knew, I knew it. Winter says, I'm good, has coffee, gonna do more cutting and sculpting. Good, good. And he's like, stop calling me out. <laughs> I knew it. I, I know Winter pretty well. 
funny. But yes, yeah, but seriously, watch him. He's good and he's fun. All right, all right. good people are good people to watch. All right, here we go. Now there's some um, little doodads hanging from chains. I'm gonna leave those and paint those that dark silver. But I think I'll, I'm just, I think I'll paint them black first so that we have something for the silver to shine against. When you're painting tabletop models, you want to have um, usually dark, dark contrastiness underneath. And it will make the metals pop all that more, all that, all that more, pop more. There, I fixed it. English is hard. See this part right here? This is more important to get even than the front because this is the part that ends up becoming that drop shadow right there. And this boot. If you were Canadian, this would be a boot. Just kidding. I'm trying to trigger. I'm trying to trigger uh, winner out again. I'm messing with him a little bit. <laughs> He's rolling his eyes. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Snorts and rolls eyes. See. <laughs> Rebel Star says, I finally finished painting the Elzebeta bus this week. Yay. Aw, oh, that's so good. It makes me so happy, Rebel Star. Can you post it in like the triptych discord and tag me? Let's do exclamation point discord. Somebody type that. I think it's either exclamation point discord or exclamation point triptych. Yep, there it is. Thank you. If you could post that in the triptych. I don't know if that link is good. Dang it. Let me, let me, let me send you a new link. I think somebody, somebody told me that link is, is bad. To, and I, I need to make a reminder for myself to update, update link to Discord. I always write um, <laughs> info to myself or I will forget. Okay, rinse brush real quick. Let me get you a new link. I really want to see your Elzebeta. It's dead. Oh, thank you, Winner. You, oh wait, Winner's not a mod. Hold on a second. Winner, just a second. Do, 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 do. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Channel rolls. Wait, oh, which is so funky, so weird. Hmm. I need to add a roll. There we go. All right, winner, you are one of my new mods, and now you can post links and be a Banff, okay? And now whenever I finally have my, if I ever have my final subscriber only things, you'll be able to watch. You didn't get silenced, it just doesn't show on screen. Yes. And you don't feel like you have to be here every time just because you're a mod, because you don't. It's just, uh, I trust you. <laughs> no obligations. I, ha I don't have moderator obligations for anybody. I like that about. I like that about my mods. They don't they don't feel like they have to be here. And once you're a mod, you're always a mod. Okay. Still painting. Ugh. See stuff I can't reach. Oy. Like back here behind. There we go. We're just gonna paint this one. Good, good. 
with the sides. The sides are even more important than the front because of the drop shadow effect. Oops. See, she's so wiggly. Am I on cam? There we go. Not only is Winner going to be a good mod, but he's also helped me many times figuring out freaking Streamlabs OBS. And I am ever grateful. All right. I think I'm almost ready. See how detailed you can get with a giant brush? As long as it has a good good tip, you can you can do anything with it. I remember once I was um, standing with I was talking to Ben Comets and Kiro and the, you know they always they were telling me how they paint with um, you know double zero and and ones and I told Ben I said I paint with like a four sometimes because I had a watercolor teacher to teach me that you know a bigger brush doesn't mean you you, you get uh, lose control it means that you you know you can paint longer without your brush drying and and have smoother smoother washes see look at how even just that little bit i painted pretty accurately with this with this brush all right i'm looking i'm just making sure all of the parts that are painted i want painted all right let me look at chat i see chatting No, but on nights like this, you're totally down to lurk. Okay, I totally, I won't make you come up again. Do tell us you feel the same Shakespearean to sub-assemble or not to assemble. Yes, not with the not with the commission like this because it's kind of like supposed to be tabletop. I don't feel, I don't feel pressured, especially because they came, I think a lot of them came pre-built and so there wasn't, there wasn't a lot I could do. I actually, I lied. All of them came pre-built, so there was nothing I could do. But if I, if given the choice, I would prefer people send me stuff um, unbuilt. Like I used to hate building, but now I prefer it because I can I can build it how I want. You know, I don't have to fix things. Sometimes you can end up spending a lot of time fixing things when if you just had built it yourself, it wouldn't have. Taken a long time. All right, that's good. And then on this, I'm gonna leave. No, I'm gonna paint this too. I have no idea what these little pieces on the ground are, but apparently some of them have some metal on them. We'll do our, our best to figure out what this is. Here we go. And I'm going to turn that around. Oh, they, there's also like little tree roots growing. I forgot about that. That was something we discovered last time. There was like little brown tree roots growing all over these things. So some of this is going to stay brown and some of it's going to get painted metallic. There we go. That works. Get a little thing back here. Try to get that. Oh, I just smooched schmutz on her on her on her shoulder. Schmutz on my shoulder makes me ragey. Okay. Hey, Roddy Wolf, it has been a little while. How are you? What has been going on? We've missed you. 
We just made Winter a mod, and I'm so glad to see you on here because you were one of my earlier mods that I first ever made. All right, now I'm going to go with this silver. We didn't get this half of this sickle yet. Um, is there any ElfQuest fans in the chat? Because they just dropped a new book, and it's called Stargazer. I don't know if anyone here has ever heard of ElfQuest, um, but I'm a huge, <laughs> a huge ElfQuest nerd since, since like, since the early 80s at least. And this new book looked really cool. I'm a big Skywise fan too. Artie Wolf says, me, me, me. Oh my gosh, I didn't know you were a, an ElfQuest fan. That's my favorite. Look, look, look. Ah. <laughs> Yay. You have a nostalgic memories of ElfQuest, but you never got into it. You can read it all for free. You can go on ElfQuest.com and they've got all of the old, um, it's all like on online, but you can watch it. You can read it all for free now. Are the Metallics Pro Quill? Yes, Joanne. Yes. And I love them. I, f I forgot we were going to paint. See, we're going to paint that black. Let's get some black out. Hang on one second. I was going to paint the silver black. Paint the blue pants or the silver pants blue. Urgh. Oh no. Ah, I broke a nail again. This is the second time. Man, and I have to sand this right away because I will feel that for the end of time. See, that chunk. I need to get my nails redone because they're getting a little bit long. You can see how long they are. But they've been really strong. I'm really happy. Your ex is a huge HealthQuest fan. Aw. <laughs> I hope that uh, it didn't color your view of ElfQuest any. Ignacos. Okay, we're getting all this dried paint. There we go. Hey, where's Winter? Haven't seen him in weeks. Reading, go away. <laughs> yes. Yes, I totally. <laughs> they read really. They read really fast because they're graphic novels. At least just read the first four books. Those are the ones that are the best. All the rest are kind of, I feel like, are extra flavor for the world, but aren't necessary to, you know, to everything. Although I suppose if you're going to read, um, I, found a, I found a hair on my model. Hold on, I can't handle this. Ugh, it's already painted and... Rusted on there. I feel like I need a little bit of this to act as flow improver a little bit. Add a little bit of black there. There's just a little bit of the slow dry on there. And yeah, that's perfect. It doesn't dry nearly as fast now. And cover things good. Wait. Okay. On the side. Doot, doot, doot. Can't reach it all. That was the first one. There's another one on this side. <laughs> you can chew through the standard manga graphic novel in about a half an hour. Yeah. So the yeah, and the Elfquest graphic novels are probably a lot thinner than the standard ones. My uh, work is Artie Wolf says work has been keeping me busy when you're when you're on, but you're gonna try and get better with catching all my streams as you've fallen behind on on all of them. Oh, that's nice. That's okay. 
What I would do, Artie Wolf, is is go and look at the ones for the paint along because I think those those ones are really educational right now, and they're really fun as well. They're short too, so you can feel like you've you know learned a lot in because I think those those videos are only like two hours long as opposed to my normal three hour streams. Sometimes three hours can be a lot of time to sit and watch. Although I suppose you could always fast forward through the jabbering parts, which I jabber a lot. All right, that looks good. I think we just have to do, I'm gonna put a little black right here and here. What happened? Oh my gosh, Nolindy! Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the raid. Woo, Nolindy raid. Hi, pipe, 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 pipe. Everybody, spam some emotes so we can greet the Lin the the Lin I can't say it. Greet the Nolindy fans. Welcome, everybody. I'm Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis. We're painting daughters of King, right? Daughters of King. We're painting them pink today they look demonic that way. This is fine, this is fine. Hi, Racer Ken. Blade Mark, is that how I say your name? Blade Mark is here. Weirdness 101. Ver Verola Barrow, I think that's how I say it. That hair gets everywhere, yes. Like your emotes, beers, we got beers, we got this is fine, so we've got Lindy's face and blue hair. Four times, one times. Wow, that's cool. Balefire Forge, hello. I like the doggies. <laughs> right. Um, we're painting. We're painting some of these gals. I'm going to show you guys. This is what one is finished looking. We've kind of doing just a tabletop level because it's a commission, and I got to get these done. That's what they're going to look like. We got kind of. This is the palette that I'm doing. This is all the colors for the one model so far. And it's pretty, it's a nice, it's a pretty palette. Very, very catching and striking on the, on the battlefield. And we just got done um, painting brown and black on the metals. And now we're going to, we're going to brush the metals on top of those colors. Thank you. It is detailed. Well, you know, what's funny because it's not as detailed as my, my other stuff. My other stuff can be a little bit more detailed. All right, on the burgundy, I'm gonna just kind of overbrush. Just kind of hit this with this beautiful bronzy brown right here. I just heard something behind me. That kind of scared me. I don't know what that is. geckos didn't get out or something it is time to get out of gecko are you guys ready to see a gecko Belos um, enacted the Shoshi points and we uh, we have African fat tail geckos so you guys get to see them we get out one per stream I'll, I'll show you hang on one second I have a tank back here you can see this tank it is a bioactive tank, and the two little geckos are, oh, they're so cute. Ginger biscuit and peppercorn. Come here, little girl. I'm gonna try to, this is ginger biscuit. Aw, she's a baby. Look at her, she doesn't like the light. She's a little bit, she's like almost albino. They don't really have albino fat tails because you can see her eyes are black, but she's got really pale skin. So cute, she's a good girl. Yes, she does a blip. <laughs> she's my baby. There she is. She just shed recently, so she's really pretty. Um, it was funny because um, she's so calm. Even when she sheds, I, I, I hardly even notice it because she's just so chill. And she, she, she had all her loose skin, I called it her jammies. 
and she was walking around with her jammies and then finally you, they tear it off and then they eat it. Isn't that very prehistoric of them? Yes. She, the girl, do you guys want to see peppercorn? This is Ginger Biscuit. She has a British name. But she's the biscuit. Mm-hmm. Because I originally, Mike wanted to call her Ginger, and I was like, mm, no, I wanted to call her some kind of food. But she's like just such a cute cutie. And uh, I thought Ginger Snap, that seems kind of aggressive. And Ginger Cookie wasn't quite right, so I was like, how about Ginger Biscuit? <laughs> so she has a British, a British name. Yeah, she's, she's just such a sweetie. All right, I'm gonna put her back and I'm gonna get out peppercorn. She is a little bit more feisty. She's not as sensitive to the light though. Biscuit means cookie, I think, in, uh-oh, my stream deck just died on me. There we go. Um, I, be I believe biscuit means cookie in the UK. Am I right? Somebody tell me. I know that Nalindi's from Wales, so she would know for sure. That's pretty close. Come here, you baby. <laughs> Peppercorn also recently. Oh, come on. I want to put this down. I don't want to put this on you, girl. Do it over. Do it over. Do it over. I'm trying to get the gecko out from underneath the little hide so that she doesn't get squished. All right, this is Peppercorn. And she looks like a little peppercorn. Isn't she cute? She's, she's, like I said, she's a lot less sensitive to the light. She's what they call a wild type. This is what they look like in the wild. This is the colors they are. Isn't she cute? Most cookies are biscuits and even non-cookies. She is a huge prawn. <laughs> Look at this baby prawn. He's, he's a peppercorn. Look at that fat tail. This is why they're called African fat tail geckos. She's all ready for the winter. She's got all her stored up energy in her tail. They, they, they don't get fat on their bodies. They get it in their tail. Cookies are different to biscuits. Oh, I didn't know that, Racer Ken. Interesting. In British English, the term biscuit refers to a small baked leaven, unleavened cake, which is typically crisp, flat, and sweet, kind of like a shortbread, probably. We call them shortbread cookies. In North America, the term biscuit is a small, savory cake. I think our biscuits are like fluffy, sometimes fluffy, flaky, yes, but like a scone, only sometimes flakier, like a, like a croissant. She's she definitely cutie pie. Let me show you her one more time in the face. She's looking down. Here, do you want to climb down on my hand? There's a cat. There's a, I have this scar. I thought that was a... Come on, climb. There she is. Oh, she's looking at you guys for a second. She looked at the camera. Cutie. Look at that tail. Such a chunk. He's such a chunk. She weighs 1.8 ounces. Her biggest was two ounces. That was when she was her biggest this summer. You love gravy. A digestive is a biscuit. Yep. Henry, Harry Winkler, you wish you had just a tail to store all your winter fat in. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, we'd all have we'd all have fat tails in the winter, wouldn't we? Biscuits and gravy. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of biscuits and gravy, but also I can't eat gluten anymore, so I can't eat any kind of biscuits unless they're gluten-free. Biscuits go soft when stale. Cookies go hard. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Biscuits and gravy is wrong. Gravy and chips fries. Ooh. That's a very Canadian thing, poutine. They have gravy and then fry, they have the chips and then the gravy and then the, the um, 
What goes over it? Uh, cheese curds. Doesn't that sound yummy? Oh, she's looking around. She's so cute. Look at her. Here, let me show you. <laughs> All right, she knows she's going back in the house. Go back to your house. I sometimes think they like coming out for a little bit. They, depends, they, they, they have moods. And definitely when they're in the middle of sheds, they, they get really pissy and they don't like it. But I think they're, they were both, they both shed that like last week. So I think they're all, they're both in really good moods. We have a thing with loyalty points in, in the chat that if you, you know, stick around, you gain these loyal, lo loyalty points and eventually you have enough that you can spend them to have me get out of Gecko once per stream. And sometimes you get to see both of them just like that. No, leave out the cheese, just chips and gravy. <laughs> You're right, it is French or ca Canadian French, yep. Lindy says, we have chips and gravy down here in Wales, as well as, as well, ra ra racer can, along with cheesy chips and sometimes beans. Quebecois, it's Quebecois, sorry. Not, not French French, yes, Quebecois. You must be in permanent shed, do <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. All right. We're still painting gold. I, I lost my train of thought. We're painting the burgundy part gold. See? I'm just doing a little overbrushing on this so that it catches, leaves, leaves the shadows and catches with the highlights. Prove my point perfectly. All mini painters are clickbait. They either just yap away like Nell or get the prawns out. Yes, I, I admit it. I admit it. But, you know, I wouldn't get the prawns out if it weren't for the fact that they like the prawns. People like the prawns. <laughs> so you say, so since you're using the word prawn, which Americans don't really say prawn um, very much. Um, we say shrimp. You're either from the UK or you're from, or if, yeah, or from um, from Australia. And I know specifically Australians like to say prawn. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a guess. You're from one of those places. Lily says we have half and half here in Wales, which is half portion of chips and half portion of rice, often with curry gravy. Mmm, yummy. Your English husband had never heard of it when he was asked if he wanted it. <laughs> um, when I went to Australia um, in, on the plane, plane ride down, I was offered um, coffee. And I said, uh, you know, I'll have a coffee, please. And they said, would you like black or white? And I had never heard that before. And then they explained to me a white coffee, I guess, has cream. And a black coffee is obviously black, so... That was new. That was cool. By the way, Australian coffee is so good. So good. Some of the best coffee I've ever had. Yep. What paint is this metallic? This paint is awesome. It's so, look at how shiny these metals are. First of all, look at on the palette. They're like liquid. These are the Pro Krills from Creature Caster. I am sponsored by them, I will say that, but I do love them and I would use them even if I weren't sponsored by them. Pro Krills, so you can go to Creature Caster. I don't know if you can see that. CreatureCaster.com and you can get them. They don't have a huge range so that, you know, you don't end up spending a ton. It's nice because you can get all their paints fairly easily. I am just... Check in here. There we go. We got to get this one over here. I'm also using a nice brush. I got to put a little bit of this blow dry in there so that my brush, things blend a little bit easier this way. There we go. There we go. Okay. And don't forget we had some metal down here on this. Whatever this thing is. I don't know what this thing is. Some kind of base garbage that crashed. Some kind of thing. Fantasy. We always talk about food on this channel, by the way. We love international food. 
We love food internationally. How's that? Everyone in this channel likes talking about food at some point. <laughs> Cream equals milk. Oh, does it? <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought it was cream. We, I like cream in my coffee, but milk is fine too. I just, um, I like the fattiness of it. I like, I like the fatty and healthiness of it. Thank you, green, green, no, green, Gren no cookies. <laughs> off to bed. Okay, Razor Ken. You're driving off to Norwich. All right. Come back again. Come see us again. We'd love to have you back. All of you guys who are coming for the first time, we would love to have you follow us and, and visit us again. Um, my best time to watch if you're in the UK is Mondays. Um, I'm usually on in the earlier part of the evening around like 8 o'clock-ish, like UK time. I think that's 8.30 to like three hour stream, eight, nine, seven, 11, 8 30 to eleven thirty, 30, I think is my stream time for, for the UK. And the best time if you're in Australia is this one and my Friday stream, but it's, although it, my Friday stream is your Australian Saturday stream and it's, it's a little early in the morning, but not too bad. Some of you guys get up and early and catch me. Coffee with a nice bit of Kerrygold butter. Oh, that sounds yummy, pun expected. I like, I like butter, and I know exactly which butter you're talking about, and it is good. I like to make that bulletproof coffee. If you ever had, um, another thing I do is put a little bit of, um, if you're on a keto plan, you can do a little bit of coconut um, oil and blend that with the, with the, um, with the coffee to make a, a really tasty, yummy um, blended coffee. Put a little flavor in there. Okay, I think we're getting all the brown nice. With Sedoma, <laughs> bowl, what's bowl? <laughs> I, I must have missed something. Sean, uh, Sean Allen says, I remember you now. Last time I saw you a few days ago, you were wearing a respirator priming. Yes, that was, I think that was, that had to be Saturday. We did a priming stream. Yep, yep, yep. And now you can see my face. Yeah, I, I like to stream with, without a respirator, but it's just safer when I'm, when I'm not. Okay, now I've got this beautiful copper. You can see this copper on my palette. We do a lot of teaching in this stream. So if you if you ever want to know how to do something, I'm constantly we, we show and tell all the time. So now I'm just doing an overbrush of this copper as a highlight um, all over the darker metal as a contrast. Making things pop a little bit more. Copy, let's see, watching painting, find, you find watching painting therapeutic. It is, it can be um, a little zen. Some people have said that I kind of sound like soothing like Bob Ross. And one person told me that he watched me, but had trouble like he was gonna go to sleep because it was, it was soothing and relaxing. And I thought, well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. If you're trying to distress, that can be, that can be a good thing, right? Right, I am almost done highlighting her. I just need to look on both sides. Go. And hang on, I feel like I have something in my eye. Ugh, there we go. Sometimes when I'm staring it's hard not to feel like I have stuff in my eyes. All right, last little bit over here. Oh, 
when I have my glasses off, it's because I am actually really myopic and I actually see better. I see the mini better without my glasses. Okay, and then just a little black right there between her fingers and where that metal is right there. Now, that's all pretty good, I think. Oh, I found some more. Found some more spots to cover here. And then lastly, more silver on these little bits right here. And we're just doing a quick overbrush right over the black to make that chain pop a little bit better. That perfect. And then we'll go and use the silver over that. <laughs> you agree watching his bed is in bed is great. Nice. How does one wait, 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 wait. How does one be a short Jewish mini painter? You mean wait a minute, I'm so confused. Diomedes. How maybe how does one be a short Jewish mini painter? I mean maybe the cliff notes. How does one be? That that is a, a long. Uh, there's no way to do a cliff notes for that, Diomedes. I just am who I am, right? Oh, how can we be you? Oh, geez. Do you want to be me? I mean, that's the first question. I don't know. That's a more power to you. I can see wanting to paint my paint like me. I don't see wanting to be like me. I'm going. To, this is Agrax or shade. I don't want that. I want the Reichland. Flesh shade. We're going to put this over the skin to give some definition. You love me for it? Aw, thank you. That's what you were prepping me up for, wasn't it? <laughs> you set me up. How long have I been doing this model painting? This particular model, these models, um, I think I started them last stream. And that's about, I did some priming over them. I started with them primed, but I, I did still work on them all that day. I'm pretty, oh, that looks good. I like that. And I'm going to put a little bit on her face too. Um, yeah, there we go. We're going to just notice I'm not slathering it everywhere. I'm just putting it in the shadows of stuff. And maybe touch, I don't want any tea stains. Let's do some on her belly. I can go back and add. See, this is all adding all the shadow I need. Perfect. I might even just add a little bit. No, it didn't look good on the pink. Let's flip her arm under because she's got that is completely shadowed, so it's okay to put a lot on this arm. That's it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so much better. I'm just going to add a little bit of this red. We had this transparent red that my glasses are sitting in right now. I'm just going to add a little bit of transparent red to this up here. And what I'm going to do, dip my brush into this mixture of medium and what drying retarder and then just glaze that down over the pink in such a nice way perfect perfect okay and then again the glaze doop, doop, doop. And I found more stuff to cover, dang it. Because I always knock my brush into, into my own paint job. All right, that's, that's good enough. Some, a lot of times I'm telling myself good enough. I'm going to set that down. That needs to dry. We'll move on to the next piece. That'll be this girl. We repeat. All right, let me check chat. You're pretty awesome. I'm not surprised. Aw, thank you. 
You like having painting streams on while you're painting your own stuff. It keeps me focused. Me too. Um, once in a while I will be in a, so we have a discord. Um, if you would post a discord one more time, winter, um, we have a discord and sometimes I'll go into it and, um, paint on the discord, which is nice because people can chat with me. I'm just adding a little bit of this transparent red to try to create a little bit of a transition here working and now I can go with my again my medium and blend that to keep that from being a stain there we go perfect sorry not wait no sorry painting minis how long have I been painting minis oh goodness um well it kind of depends on what you mean like when I started painting professionally it was probably 2000 15 technically and then um before that kind of hobby like sort of i mean i never was a very i never re really was serious hobbyist um i was actually this was more about my job than my hobby um but i'd say Oh gosh, I think I painted my first mini back in 91 at a convention, a local game convention that I went to. Did you guys see what I just did here? I'm going to explain what I did in, the, in a minute, but because um, I think this would be helpful to you for some mm -hmm. of your blends. So what I did was I put this transparent red down here in the crook of her wing. Same thing here, here. And then I rinsed out my brush and I've got this mixture of slow dry and me uh, uh, mixing medium. And I'm kind of blending it out so that there's no tea stain, right? And it's looking really pretty that way. See? And when it dries, it will dry, it will dry nice, kind of like, kind of like this. How does one get started painting professionally? Well, first I, first I painted, um, I was a professional artist. Okay. So I did watercolors professionally and that was really hard. And the way you get started in that is a million times harder. At least it was for me than mini painting because what I was doing was beautiful, like bright colored, vivid watercolors. And I had to, nobody was looking to buy bright watercolors. Usually it's like pastel -y, soft landscapes. And I was doing even abstract watercolors, which is even more niche. And I, I had to work from the ground up to try to get some kind of following. Um, so I learned a lot in that process of how to market myself on social media um, from doing my fine art. And then when I quit the min quit the watercolors to do the minis, I had pretty much a built-in market because I'm already a nerd. I'm already a gamer. I know exactly what gamers and nerds like, and we all kind of have our little impulse buying issues admit it admit it i do too it's okay <laughs> and so you know once i put it out there that i was painting minis professionally it just kind of happened but it really it was a lot of work makes you feel old when you think about painting your first mini in 1988 old ral partha yes yes exactly ral partha was a, you know one a lot of us started on I want to say Ralph Partha was my first mini, but I think, I think it was um, in 92 that I painted my first actual mini. All right, I'm just again blending with this thing here and I'm going to get my medium. I'm hoping this is going to work nice and then blend this up into the tail. 
we don't have a little tea stain. See, there we go, blend it back down. Oh, sorry for the confusion. You've been drinking and you're old. That's awesome. <laughs> Love your work. You do. And the salamanders. They're African fat tail geckos. Yes. You've not picked up a mini brush for 28 years. Wow, that's so that's okay. You can you can love watching people paint um, without having to be a painter, and you you can you can you can do whatever you want, Sean. For sure. There's a lot of gamers out there that don't paint, but that admire and like like others who paint. Like I said, I was a professional fine artist before this. And that, um, that really helped me get to where I am now as a professional mini painter. Oh, that's so sweet. Hold on, I wanna show everybody. Mike just, my husband Mike just started a brand new job and people gave him as a going away present. This, it says, do or do not, there is no try, Yoda. And it has our geckos on top of drones. And then it says, thanks, Mike, for all you've done. Oh, it's really sweet. Oh, you got to hang that up. That's great. First, you have to paint unprofessionally. Yes, I agree. Just paint. Paint what you love. And don't worry about trying to make money with your painting. You know, if you are meant to make money with it, people will come to you. And they'll say, hey. Do you, can you paint my such and such, you know? That's kind of how it started with me, almost. I mean, I just, I just painted and I put my work out there and eventually, you know, people liked it and they g gave it notice. Um, you know, it's harder now, I think, because there's, there's a phenomenon going on right now in the mini world where a lot of people are currently painting professionally and um, it's easier to find people who will paint your stuff. And so the market, it's driving the prices down. It's um, making things more competitive. The economy's kind of weird right now too. I mean, just think like this. A mini painting artist is still an artist and think about artists and what they make and it doesn't even matter if you're professional. I mean, unless you are churning out armies and doing mass quantities at a really cheap bulk price, odds are that you're not making a ton of money. Okay. I'm definitely not. I wish I was. I'm doing what I love though. That's, that's the bonus. So if you're retired, if you already paint minis for fun and you don't mind being somebody else's paint slave, then, you know, it's worth it. Just, just know that you might get a little bit more enjoyment out of not making it a profession. You might. <laughs> awesome. Good luck in the new job, Mike. They're, they're, they're telling you that's awesome. Thank you. It was a you were a professional lurker before you became a Twitch lurker. Trasharama, that's that's great. <laughs> Ralpartha and Citadel were great. Team Factory. Oh, wow. I haven't heard that name in a while. Harry Winkler says, I find the key to commission painting full-time is to have a loving, supportive partner. Yes, and I do. I absolutely do. He's fantastic. Um, I wouldn't be doing this without Mike and his support. So everybody can, can give Mike a little kudos. Kudos and hype for Mike. Did you see how I blurred paint and I just kind of erased it with the water? While it's still dry, well, it's still wet, you can do that, but once it dries, you'll have to cover it. We go. My birthday is next. Is it next week? Yep, my birthday is next week. I think Monday we'll have to do some kind of birthday stream giveaway. 
Um, we'll also be doing our giveaway on Friday, right? We're going to give away the Red Grass Games um, ergonomic mini holder. That's what I'm holding right here. I've got the prototype for it anyway. We'll be giving away that on on Mon or Friday, and then Monday we'll do a birthday giveaway, which will be awesome. Monday we're streaming from 2.30 to um, 5.30, sorry, two, well, 2.30 to 5.30, GMT minus 6. And, oh, I can't get this part right under here. I have to flip her down a little bit. I don't know if I can reach it. Eh, that's better. You see how I use the side of my brush? And I kind of drag it on the on that little symbol so that you can get to it much better. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna look at chat now. I see some hypes. Yes, hype for Mike. Yay! Hello party people. There's Mike. <laughs> By the way, notice that Painting Cricks and Mike have new sub emote badges mike has been one of my subscribers for two years right i think that's right yes see the little purple heart that's a by your name that's new that's that's the kind of thing yeah those little graphics and things those cost money to get made because i'm not a graphic artist whatsoever so your subscriptions and stuff go to pay for those little cute, you know, benefits that show your awesomeness. I'm just gonna... This one is hard. This, this girl is a little bit complicated. Let's see. All right, that works. I've just gotta turn around the back. Oi. And she's got, oh, she's got, I didn't, I messed up. She's got some kind of helmet on. With some kind of weird veil. The weirdest, weirdest helmet. All right, that's fine. Paint that brown as well. Burgundy. Oh, sorry, mahogany. All right, one more chance to paint this, and then I'll come back and look at chat again. It's a balance. Okay. I love the fact that you guys are all here. You're awesome. You're giving away a birthday. <laughs> yes. Uh, look at all those emotes. That's so awesome. Painting Creek says, if I could have another birthday without getting older, that would be cool. I like getting older. I love it. Every year on this planet is a gift. And we're lucky. We're all lucky to be here. You know? I, uh, especially when, like, I feel like I'm over, I'm like, I'll be 48. So I feel like that is an accomplishment to be celebrated. And I don't mind being my age one single bit. I want to be, I want to be 58 and 68 and 78, you know? There we go. That looks great. I love that metal. I saved myself some time by just painting that straight metal on. And I'm, gonna no I'm noticing some more blending issues over here. I'm going to go ahead and try to Smooth that a little bit with this burgundy.
a little bit of that in here too on the top of her little thing and then the medium to smooth it out smooth 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 see that works so nice it would be awesome to go back to childhood yet keep your brain i think i could go back i would honestly skip my 20s i would go back to 30. I feel like if I had what the knowledge, you know, you always look back and you have so much more knowledge with each year and you grow so much as a person each year. And if you could go back to a time, you know, if I could go back to a time, it would be probably 30 that I would go back to. Because 20s are hard. You're struggling in your 20s. You're trying to, you know, survive and... I feel like 30s, you're finally starting to get somewhere, but that you still don't quite have the same knowledge as you do in your 40s. And I would like to have the confidence and knowledge that I have now, but have had it in my 30s. I give less, I give less Fs now that I'm in my 40s. You know, if I could go back and just give less Fs. <laughs> Everybody's talking now. Everybody agrees with that part, right? <laughs> oh, Painty Cricks, thank you for gifting that sub to Revless. Painty Cricks has gifted 18 subs in the channel. Revless, I get to write down your name on our subscriber thing. And also Rebel Star Raider, 19 sub gifts. Thank you, Painty Cricks. Yeah, so Revless, you need to come back on Friday because we're doing our subscriber giveaway. Let me show you, let me write this down. Sub giveaway. It's going to be Friday um, from 4 to 7 p.m. GMT minus 6, okay? Friday, the, what's today? Today's the 13th, 14th, 15th, 15th. Okay? Only subscribers will be able to win this really cool ergonomic paint, ha paint handle. So now Revel, Revel Star Raider and Revelis are welcome to join us for that. All of you are welcome to join us. Absolutely. Revel Star Raider. Thank you guys, both of you. Both of you have been, you know, been here before and I appreciate, you know, every time you watch. Pun says, if I could turn back time, I would find a way. I'd take back the words that hurt you and you'd stay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if I could turn back time. <laughs> Oh, you suckered me into that one. Totally pun expected. Pun expected. Such a joker. Such a joker. There's the bug king. Nope, I didn't include you, so you're not showing up. You're totally able to come. Pug king. Bug king is also a joker. Drawback of being older is saying all those things to your children you promised you'd never say. <laughs> yes, I agree. I agree. I've been pretty good about that, though. I have to say, you know, there's a lot of things that were said to me by my parents that I feel pretty good about avoiding with my daughter. And while I didn't do everything perfect, as no parent does, I did pretty dang good. I think. <laughs> you never joke. Nothing but seriousness. Absolutely. Ooh, I just blurped on her little skirt thing. Let me see if I can just wipe that away before it dries. Sometimes you have to add a little Mutz cover. Diomedes, are you listening to Mutz? <laughs> Mini Wizard Studios, hello. Your mission is complete. Yes, you you totally got me, pun. Unexpected. I, I should have known better than to read that out loud. Note to self. <laughs> it 
So um, I want to point out real quick up here, we already have enough money. We oh, fifty-one dollars. We have enough money to get a stream, new stream song, which is awesome. I actually this time I'll be um, hiring a local guy. So I'm hiring local talent, which is really cool because uh, you know I like supporting musical artists. So I like supporting artists. Period. And actually, uh, you are the one that is supporting the artists because it is crowdfunded by my channel watchers, which is fantastic. So we're giving back to the creative community, hiring, hiring musicians, paying them to do what they love. Meanwhile, you guys are watching me stream and do what I love and teach you how to do what you love. So it's give, 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 give. It's awesome. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Just putting on this bronze. I just have to go back and look and make sure I'm not making mistakes. Because with commissions, I just don't want to have to go back over it. When it's a tabletop, especially, you, the less you have to come back and touch it, the better. Loving the pink. Thank you. Bug King says, I made icicles. I need to show you how to do this for your next ice piece. Really easy and looks great. Okay, Bug King, hold on. You are a moderator. Just post me a link if you have something. Post a link in chat. Everyone would like to see. You can't just tease us like that, Bug King. He's going to wave his, like, here's my tutorial. You have to come see it later. <laughs> Now you have to show. He's being respectful though. I appreciate that. He's not just going to be like, tutorial, blam. <laughs> Did hire the wiggles? Oh, Joanne. Joanne, Joanne, Joanne. The one, I know this is blasphemous to my Australian friend's ears. But the wiggles creeped me out. I'm so sorry to let you down. I know this is a disappointment. But hot potato, hot potato. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> oh, it's not a, a tutorial. It's the result. Let me see. Allow me to dangle this really cool thing out here for you all. Let's look. Awesome. I can post this. Ooh, let's show this on stream. Hold on one second. I'm going to do a little show and tell trip. Hold on. Doo -doo -doo. Where is it? Here we go. You guys get to see that. Look at these icicles. That's fantastic. Okay, let's break it down. So I'm guessing that you took some kind of clear, I'm going to guess like some kind of clear plastic, like blister pack or something. I'm just guessing. Tell me if I'm wrong. And then you put maybe some like um, either resin on it and then cured it with UV light or you put some kind of like gel medium. Hold on. Like this. Like this gel medium, extra heavy gel and then let it let it dry is that tell me what you did so far so good yes those are awesome let's look at it one more time i love that the he's got the old bridge and the resin on the water in there and the muddy rocks so good i like it i like it Lister pack. I was right. I wasn't even reading that. I swear to God. I wasn't reading your description. I was guessing. I'm, I swear to God. It says blister pack and heavy acrylic gel medium. Very simple to make and I think they look quite good. I'll be making a lot more but much smaller. So there I was right. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, 
Just every, okay, cool. What if he was just really sick and that is our, those are snot built. Diomedes, Joker. <laughs> is it safe to Google the Wiggles? Maybe, Google kids show Wiggles and then it's safe. Kids show Australian Wiggles. Then you'll get the right thing, it'll be okay. Now I have that hot potato song in my head, Joanne. Hot potato, hot potato. Hot potato, hot potato. Hot potato, hot potato. Potato, potato. This is all your fault, Joanne. <laughs> uh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> It's an earworm, and this is that's the only reason why I don't like the Wiggles is because of that song. <laughs> Who needs uh, BGM when you have when Shoshi is singing? What is BGM? I don't know that acronym. <laughs> cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti. Oh no, hates you. <laughs> Background music, yes. Cold spaghetti's. I can't say that fast so that won't work cold spaghetti cold spaghetti <laughs> yeah <laughs> ah. I need a new song I need an earworm hold on I gotta get this out of my head a sketty is fine yes hold on we're gonna put speaking of songs some of the music that you guys have crowdsourced we are going to play in just a second here hold on let's play some now you get to see this awesome music that is paid for and basically funded by you, the streamers, or the stream watchers. Let's do this chill music right here. Yes. That will help me. Everybody relax. <laughs> no, winner. No, I'm not going to even repeat that. Cause it's the song that doesn't end. Yes. <laughs> John Allen says, I did a batch of painting nightmare in the eighties for a company that did not disclose the client's name. Oh, Bunking said, see music. I've not drunk that much caffeine yet today. I'm not quite to the point of seeing the sounds. Yes. <laughs> I, I have, there's a meme. I, I, I posted that reminds me of that. It said, um, I, I quit chocolate for a week. My, um, I can't see in my left ear or something like that. I've lost hearing in my left ear or my left eye. Oh, that's it. I lost hearing in my left eye. It was so funny. Who could live without chocolate, right? Perfect music for what you're painting right now. Awesome. Yes, it is time for a stretch break. We haven't had a stretch break all stream. So let's do that. One of the things we do in here, you can do exclamation point stretch, I think, is for our commands. But I like try to, I like to have everybody get up, get out of your chair. Ah. Notice I'm wearing, I'm wearing like a shirt here and a big thick sweater because it's really cold out right now. Ah, stretch, stretch, stretch. Ooh, I heard popping. That's a good sign. That's a good sign of a good stretch. Um, while we have a lot of people watching, I want to show you, I'm working on the bust for the paint along. You try to learn how to paint him and we're getting, getting somewhere. There, this is a whip. It's not done yet. We still have a ways to go. So he's at this, he's in the ugly stage. And I know you guys might think he looks done, but he's far from done. And what I'm gonna do next is probably give him a, a nice highlight with white to bring back that kind of white canvas and to try to repaint. Some of these lines are really messy and undefined and I need to pull it back together because I was doing a lot of sketchiness here and it's, it's, it's overly dark, but it's getting there, it's getting there. I like this bell a lot. I think that's coming out well. So I'm going to talk to some different people and get some more ideas. 
the anchor is really not there yet. There's a lot that needs to be done on the anchor, and the rope is not there yet at all either. Rope is not even close to there. But the overall mood, uh, Vladimir, or Vladimir, how do I say your name? Thank you so much for the follow. So this is, this is what we're working on for the paint along. So this Saturday, hopefully, I'll be in a better place with him and we can at least start moving him toward, you know, where we need to be. If, the, if something happens and I'm not able to get some of this done by Saturday, we're gonna paint the bell and, you know, maybe start the anchor and then work on him. We'll see, we'll see, we'll just see. I don't wanna promise anything. No promises. You heard popping? <laughs> now that's the saying for over 40. Yes, it is. 48, baby. <laughs> Bug King got it down to 55 this morning at 4 a.m. It was back up to around 80. Yeah, that's right. You're in Florida, so that's nice. You're in a good place there. I'm in Illinois, and we've got we've got the polar vortex you know these days i know it snowed in the sydney area recently which that's kind of crazy huh and in canberra well you it's it often snows in canberra promise all the things shall she do eat <laughs> john allen says when i completed it it was 30 figs a day three months all tartan <gasps> Not even joking, black white, black watch, white belts and all. Oh, Sean, I don't, I don't envy that. That would have been hard. Oh, that sucker's sick. Thank you, AK. Um, is it AK Space Wolf? Is that how I say it? Or Axe Space Wolf? <laughs> yes, plus hype. Thank you, guys. You were up and out of the house at 4 a.m. Ooh. Did you miss a stream? The last, yeah, the last session was priming. You didn't miss anything because I have to paint this guy in order to figure out how to teach you guys to paint it. So I have two and, and I am seriously debating scrapping a bunch of this. So it may not look like this later. We might go a totally different direction. I kind of think he needs, I just don't know. The, the ambience and mood that I wanted, I'm not, I'm not getting what I want. So we'll see. But don't worry, you haven't missed anything. Everybody else's should look like this. You're good. Alaska, the first way. <laughs> we had snow flurries. Yes, we had, we had full on snow. We had a snowstorm. Um, and we had an old school November, like a, a 1980s November where we had straight up um, cold and snow. Like we haven't had in a long time here. Remember when winter used to be, remember when winter used to be in November? We know some of you guys live farther north than me, so you probably always have winter in November, but um, seasons have shifted a little bit in Illinois and nowadays our November is sometimes kind of nice and um, we don't really get hit hit with winter winter until January February so I'm really nervous about this January February because if we're getting this now what is that going to be like 35C one day and 17C the next, air con and jumpers. Oi! That's crazy, Joanne. You'd love to see snow, maybe not shovel it. Yeah, you don't want to drive in it either. And if you live in a place where other people don't ha know how to drive in snow, it is not fun to have to deal with the crazy people trying to drive in snow. When I was a teenager, my driver's ed instructor took me to the top of a hill in our town covered in ice and snow and then 
told me to drive down it as fast as I could and slam on the brakes. And he did, and then he taught me how to gain, regain, regain control of the car. And I'm actually kind of grateful that he did that as much as like nobody would ever do that to kids in this day and age. You know, it would just, that would be like a lawsuit and a parent's rage nightmare. But the, you know, the 80s were a different time. We, we put kids in danger all the time. <laughs> but we learned things. We learned things. And we liked it that way. <laughs> As I put my bifocals back on. <laughs> ah, this has been a, such a fun show. This has been such a fun stream for you guys. I've really been enjoying this. I'm just going to mix quick. Oh, you know what I had that I didn't have on my palette? Some nightshade purple. Where is it? Here it is. I need this. Oh, that's black indigo. Nope. Here it is. Nightshade purple. Purple of all blacks. What is this thing called? Snow, exactly. <laughs> I'm scooping up white and I'm going to mix it with this nightshade purple. It makes this beautiful gray and then we can paint on this. Whatever this is. I'm going to have to, I'll have to repaint some of that anyway. There's all these rocks down here. Get it. There we go. I'm just going to repaint it all. Put back all, all that bronze I already painted on there. I'll redo. Thank you. Thank you, Darth Molinex. How have you been? It's been a little bit, huh? All right. Okay, I'm looking, I'm just making sure there's a skull down here. I'm just gonna paint it gray as well, because then I can highlight it later with, you know, different colors and bone and all that. burgundy out and repaint the spines on this tail go perfect these models are really fun if you know if I had my choice the detail on these models is so nice that I'd really love a chance to paint these at a high level that's a shame about this commission is that I kind of can't can't really do a lot with it because it's not meant to be a high level commission. It's meant to be kind of quick and dirty. Get her done. So, but we can still, we can still make it pretty even though it's fast. And I can hopefully share my speed painting techniques as much as possible. biggest part is just painting clean that's the biggest trick I can I can I can give you AK Space Wolf is in Alaska it hasn't gotten snow yet which is weird because it's all wind I know because um, I read that the poles have shifted I don't know exactly how that's affecting Alaska but I know that things are a little different now than they used to be so Things actually aren't nearly as cold as they used to be on the where you guys are at. Are you are you glad that it's not as cold or do you kind of miss it? Because I think if you're accustomed to it, it'd be something you'd be like, get ready for winter, get ready for winter. And then all of a sudden it's like, where's winter? Okay, what's going on? And it throws you throws you off, probably, I would imagine. I'm imagining. Or, I don't know, maybe you're enjoying the hell out of your extra snow-free days. Okay, I'm just going back 
I shouldn't go back. That's the thing. I need to tell myself not to go back. And then Sean says, after I completed the task of 1,100 figs in three months, all black watch soldiers, da, 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 smash them up. What? On set for living daylights? Oh. It's kind of cool, though. I mean, except for all your hard work. That's a shame. Man, Sean. Was it hard to watch? It was probably hard to watch, wasn't it? Joanne says, um, hit the only tree in the paddock, got out, looked at the car with the front end smashed, smashed in and asked the owner wouldn't, if the owners would notice. <gasps> oh, thank you, Evil Halfling. Yeah, these are nice pinks. We did some airbrushing, which helped them look sharp. Here's kind of what the pre-detailed piece looks like. We started with the flesh shade and then, you know, I airbrushed some different pinks over the top. And that's where we kind of got. And now we're adding even more darks to the to the mix. And we're getting there. We're almost done with this piece, this particular piece. Okay. I'm gonna add a little white to this because I'm having trouble covering this one spot. And what I'll do is let it somewhat dry and then put this pinks, these pinks over the top. Cause then, see that? Boom. We covered it. Oh, we got another subscriber, Alex Kingle. Thank you so much. Two months in a row. Because I don't know anything about Games Workshop stuff. Yes, it is for Age of Sigmar. I don't know. I think it's for... I think it's for... Bl not Blood Bowl, no. Somebody else in this chat knows what these guys are for. Maybe? A strike team? Maybe. Where's my pen? Here it is. We're going to write down. Alex. Alex, don't forget. We're going to have a subscriber-only giveaway. It's going to be Friday. Now that you are a subscriber again, multiple months in a row. Yes, hype. Ah, oh, yes. They just saw Sigmar, it's a general army. Possibly, a, yeah, it is actually possibly a war cry band. Because I know the family is playing, is playing uh, war cry. Let me get some pink on the end of this. So I put the pink down. See how I just kind of messed it on there and then I'm gonna use my medium I've got the medium and the slow dry right here and I'm just gonna put that right there and then I'm gonna take this color and just wet blend it smooth hopefully it'll be smooth enough a little bit more pink there there we go perfect Oh, what's next? This one I can't seem to like finish. Oh, I know what. We're gonna put burgundy up here. And I just found more schmutz on her hair to fix. And again, we're gonna put some white on top because that dark color is gonna be hard to hide. Put the white on top. I'm gonna blow on it a little bit to dry it. And then I'm gonna take this pink and I'm gonna go right over the top. And that's good enough. There, boom, it's gone. Love it. All right, I think she is pretty much done. I'm going to just do quick little highlights on her. I'm going to use white. A little bit of highlighting on this cupboard thingy here. That's good. And then I can put pink over the top of that. 
good. I like it. This whole bottom thing needs to be done, but I'm kind of bored with it, so I'm not going to mess with that right now. What's left? This one is done. Ooh. I feel like I need to fix some things. There we go. There are some little, yeah, there's a lot of little blurps. And as tabletop as this is supposed to be, I still can't allow blurps. This one is the one we put the, um, the Reichland flesh shade on. Now I can go back with this highlight and highlight her face. And we've got this giant brush. But, ooh, and there's a cat hair in the brush. But we can still highlight like the top of her nose with it and like under the eyes and then right and the chin. Yeah, that's coming out right on the top of the cheekbones under the eyes is real important and on top of the ears. And we can use some of that medium to smooth. Sorry, it looks good. Hold on, I'm gonna... There we go, and she's got a little belly highlight down here. Already looking good. Yeah, that's, I like that a lot. And then these fingers just carefully hit the tops of those fingers for the detail. Yes. I like that, okay. Now for the eyes, I believe I was painting the eyes red. So before I do that, I'm gonna paint the socket black. So that there's something. There we go. Let's paint the socket black and then we can put the red in the middle. It didn't get quite very well. And then a little bit white teeth. This one does have a little bit of white teeth. Cute, I like that. I'm just gonna put a little bit of white mixed on her nose top. If you have to paint tabletop, try to make like the faces really pop and stand out and look nice because even if the rest of the mini doesn't look that great, if the face looks great, it'll make a difference. Age of Warcry, yes, I possibly, Age of Warcry. How's it going, Fraley? How are you? And Chaos Spawn Gaming, or Wargaming. Yeah, I think it is a Warcry Warband. Look at how cute she looks now with her little um, harpy face. Oops, I dropped her. She'll be mad. I'm gonna just put a little bit of white. And then again with my medium. Spread that a little bit. Oh, that didn't work at all, did it? Sometimes it doesn't work. It dries too fast. And now, did you see what I did? I put my brush back into it when it was still drying and it actually Mess it up a little bit. Try this again. Slightly better. It'll work. All right, so that one's done. Um, I want to show you 
my silver technique. This is the silver. We're gonna do that sickle. Ooh, I need to, hold on, I gotta close this and there. Pop that so that comes out. It's still not coming out. There's like a ball bearing that gets stuck. There we go, come on. Doesn't wanna come out. Sorry, I'm so sorry if you're wearing headphones. There, I got it. All right, and then also have this beautiful, this is the best stuff ever. It's like white metal. Look at this, so pretty. This is a metallic white, it's called metallic medium. And it makes such a great difference in your metals. So she's had such schmutz 15 times, I have. <laughs> What paint am I using? I'm using mostly Pro Krill and some Reaper. Um, but yes, Pro Krill is um, from Creature Caster. CreatureCaster.com. That's mostly what I've been using tonight. All right, so now I've got the silver. Watch what I'm doing. Can you see how the overhead light is already causing reflection and shadow on this sickle? I like to kind of use my overhead light to see where I want to paint that reflection. It makes it so nice and easy. That's why I think metallics, metallic metals are the easiest for me um, because I can do that. I can, I can use the overhead light and the natural reflection and just emphasize it. See that, that's pops. Paint the edges. Um, metal edges are always kind of bright and contrasty. Now watch what happens. I'm going to go in with this metallic medium. This is going to be the brightest part and this is always going to be at the points and the little sharp spots. Look at that. Ping, ping. It's, it's just glowing. And again on the pointy bits. See that? That one looked really good. And then I can do the same thing to a lesser extent on, on her bronze. It's, it's actually probably better to mix a little copper with the metallic white. Let's see what happens when I do that. Really color it a little bit. Yes, it's just like that and it's not quite as white. It's still nice and reflective. Look at that, that made a big difference. Oops, a little bit on her thing there. Okay, that looks awesome. Okay, she looks, I'm happy with her. Do this to all the other metals. Just this, wait, just dices. There we go, hold on, I'm, I missed a whole bunch of chat. Let me go back. Tried to get to 140K a year or two ago, but she couldn't find anyone to play with, yeah. Oh yeah, we'd all probably go and go to Alex's place and play. <laughs> you live in Nova Scotia, Canada. Oh yeah, that's tough. There's not a ton of, I have a friend who lives in high level Alberta and there's like nobody around, right? He understands your pain. Yeah, Nova Scotia is kind of remote, right? Do you have any kind of gaming club in that area that you could join? All right, silver again. Boom, 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 boom. And the pointy parts. Uh, I just mostly had it. I'm going to use the... There we go. 
Oh, by the way, listen to this song. This is some of the Japanese metal that we crowd crowdfunded. I love it. It's um, some of the best stuff that we have, which I'm so happy that we got it. Let's do this little bit right here. All right, good, good. Um, one other thing I'm going to do. This is hit that. See that little bit of shine? It makes a huge difference. All right, that's one, two, three. Did I get this one? Nope. Let's do the copper first. I'm gonna check chat. I keep getting behind. Type a game in. That's a good idea. They have these simulators you can use. Ooh, Pro Acryl Nom. Yes, exactly. The pinks are from Reaper. We've got Clear Magenta. We've, which is, I, I, this is a really old bottle because I don't have the labels completely gone. We have a sample of paint, which they'll probably never make again, unfortunately. And they have the October uh, Support Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The only one that I know of that you can get right now is this clear magenta. This one I think is only available in October, but I'm not sure. You might be able to ask for it. Could be in their regular catalog. It's it's very possible. Okay, I'm gonna add just a smidge of white at the end of this because it's gotten lighter than before. There, cool. I like what music am I playing tonight, Zombie? I'm playing my crowdsourced music. I think this might be the Japanese metal is what we're listening to. I didn't think to use metallic medium as a highlight. Yes, it's, it's beautiful that way. And I mixed, like I said, I mixed some of the metallic medium with my copper to make a brighter, a brighter metal co copper color for my bronze. And that's working okay. Probably need to put a layer of like Agrax or shade on her. This is my Agrax or shade. Wait, let's see. Put some of this in the thing. I'm using Agrax as a, like a, there. We can put it over the metals to give me some shadows. It also, you know, when we come back and highlight with the copper, it'll really stand out and look good. That's better. There we go. Yeah, we needed some we need some dark shadows in there. She's supposed to be a chaos lady. She can be dark. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna have to put some white in here. Sometimes, like I said, if you put the white down. You can cover up things so much better. See, now we can put this in here and look at, it's already a lot more opaque than it was. Okay. We need to put the Reichland Flesh Shade on her skin. I need to rinse that out. Oh yeah, this is a good, this is another Japanese metal song I like. It's funny because the, the, they basically made metal songs with Japanese instruments. And I think it was a really good, really good idea.
Yay! Thank you for the follow. Battle Corgi, how are you? I've seen you in the channel before. Thank you for the follow. Right, I think I need to let that dry. Oi! All right, this time I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna do my Reichlin Flesh Shade first on the model and then do all my cleanup after the fact. Lumunus, you're, you're okay, no problem, you don't need to worry. They for sale? Yeah, I think, like I said, I think the one is for sale. I don't know about the other two. Let's see, there's a games workshop, Alex says. Uh, it's remote and there's, it doesn't feel super inclusive. Yeah, those places can get a little clickish, can't they? So she said, let's see, I know Justice from another stream. She's a hell of a painter. That's awesome. So she's tabletop quality, blow away my top tier. So, well, I mean, I, I feel really picky about my tabletop stuff, so it's, I'm not a good one to talk to about it. Put clear sticky paint tape over the paint names. It doesn't rub off then. That's a good idea. Except for um, on this one, ink exploded all over it. And I don't know if that would have helped it or not. But the, I know that one's clear magenta, so that's okay. All right, I'm gonna put Reichland Flesh Shade on the skin right now. Ooh, I like that already. I'm gonna put a, a good amount of it on here. Got a lot of areas that need that extra shadow for sure. Right, okay, that looks good. Okay, I've got a mask back here. Uh, it kind of looks like an Eldar mask. I wonder if they, they don't, they don't have Eldar in Sigmar, do they? Do they? Tell me if they have Eldar in Sigmar. I bet they don't. But they probably just have all these fantasy characters. Although I think Eldar would be perfect in Sigmar. Right? Because they're supposed to be like elves, kind of. Alright, I'm going to do that. And then this last one I'm going to do... Nope, she's actually pretty much done. I don't need to mess with her anymore. She looks pretty good. These are almost done. I'm really excited, guys. They're looking good. Just this last one, then. Oh, this, this one needs to silver paint it on. Modal said, last game store I was at, the one where I live. Yes, because Modal lives very close to me. And it was surprisingly clean and the folks were nice. That's good, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, no, I think they do a good job in this town. The only thing that is a bummer is that the, there's not really a very good store in town that carries um, much in the way of supplies. Like almost all the stuff that I get, I get online or from sponsors. So, you know, you know, it's hard to support my game store when all they have is GW and I don't use GW, right? That's tricky. That looks really good. I like that. She's still, her skin is still drying. Um, that one's done, that one's done, that one's done. All right, good, good. Look at that sharp knife. Now we can put some of the white metal. Watch what happens when we put the white metal on the pointy parts. That even cooler looking. Alex says, I could paint with one or two. I really don't know what to charge for them. I got them for free from your Reaper Minis order. Yeah. Harry Winkler says, have you heard of the Who yet? I think I have. 
you want a battle corgi? I think somebody has them. Somebody has already made battle corgis, I feel like. I don't know who it is, though. Anyway, that, let's do, let's do the, um, this is the copper on top of the bronze now. We're just gonna kind of quick brush just the highlights on. Because that we've got that beautiful shadow, these highlights look even better. See that? See that is what I'm talking about, that little blingy bling. Do that on the back of her helmet too, just touch it. I like this. It doesn't need to be a lot of shading on the metal that's kind of in shadow already. Yeah. An elf and a flamingo. Is that is that what we're talking about? Wait, wait, wait. I would I would love the who. I need to look up the who. Hold on, let me look this up right now. Is that a is that a faction? Somebody tell me what game is it from? It's from Warhammer. Let me look this up. Let me see Warhammer. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Nope. What are? Let's see. What happens if I just look up the Who? All right, is it the band? Oh, yes. The Mongolian um, rock band, yes. They are awesome. You guys nailed it. I do like them a lot. I, I should have connected that because we were talking about um, Japanese metal and I should have connected that. Obviously, Mongolia is very far away from Japan, but I get you, I get you. <laughs> you always want to yell ruined. You're like watching Bob Ross channel and then you see the flesh shade and you yell saved. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Biff. Aw, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. Face cam has been on a while, although sometimes I'm airbrushing and I have a mask on. I have also been, okay, I'm gonna be really straight up with you guys. So I have seasonal affective disorder and that makes winners really mentally tough for me. And so as a self care thing, I've been using my light box every morning. I've been doing makeup every morning. And you know, these things have really helped me. And this has been the best November I've ever had in a long time. And I live in a house that has very few windows. So the fact that I'm having really good, I'm having a really good winter so far. So notice like my seasonal, seasonal affective disorder usually hits me in November and that's when I get really down and really low motivated. I crave carbs, I eat crap. I've been changing my diet. I've been going to therapy. I've been fixing my brain and reworking my chemicals and I feel so good. So I'm happy about that. You have hourly affect disorder. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, if you if you've seen a change in me in the last couple months, that's that's what that is is that I've really taken ownership of my mental health. And I'm I'm a strong believer that there's no stigma to, there's no, there should be no stigma to mental health because it's just health, right? So that's my, that's my TED talk. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you did put a smile on my face. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Harry Winkler saw them in Austin. He went and saw The Who. That's the band that we were just talking about. That's amazing. That's so cool. 
global warming kicks butt. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? I live in Illinois and the, the we have winters that aren't, they're not t that bad except for the fact that we get like, we get no sunshine. It's, it's completely cloudy for months and that, that affects you. It makes it hard for you as a melanin challenged person that I am to create vitamin D because my, I don't, did you know that redheads make their own vitamin D or they, they're more equipped at it? And I wonder if that comes from the, you know, the Viking Scandinavian stuff, like they lived in the north. Like Mike, Mike doesn't get bummed out in the winter. He is a ginger. A ranga. <laughs> the whole year in Nova Scotia. Yeah, I couldn't do that. That would just kill me. Head talk nerd. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, you put the wiggles in my brain. That was crazy. Yes, I I do. I've also been taking vitamin D, um, the supplement, and other vitamins as well. Fish oil. Did you know fish oil is a natural anti-inflammatory? And did you know that inflammation is sometimes a a symptom of depression? No, depression is a symptom of inflammation. Did you know that? It's the body's response to inflammation. So a little fish oil, and I've never had a doctor say, don't take fish oil. They've always been like, yeah, do it. Trade off to having no soul. Long and dreary overcast winter in Illinois. Yes, it's always like that. I've been, there's been very few good sunny winters. But yeah, every morning I have a light box. It has 10,000 lux of full spectrum light. And I make myself, I watch YouTube videos in the morning in front of it until pretty much until I feel like getting up and getting dressed. And it's made a huge difference, huge, huge difference. I'm probably, it's made such a huge difference that I'm probably gonna continue using it even when it's not winter because that's how big of a difference it's made for me. And if you live in Nova Scotia and you don't have a light box, I think that it'd be helpful, especially for those times when you've got no sun for a few weeks, for sure. Look at that, that looks pretty, I love that colors. Bathe in carrot juice. <laughs> what is, I've never heard that, Alex. Does there, is there, is there vitamin D in carrot juice? You can get, you can get, you can definitely turn orange with carrot juice. <laughs> that is not my goal. <laughs> oh, the trade-off of having no soul. Yeah, they, 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 they consume the souls. That's how they don't have to worry about having one. They consume them. Fish oil is good for high cholesterol. It's just good for so many things. Fish oil is really just good for you. It helps you with lots of stuff. When I used to work at Vitamin World a long time ago, um, and we'd have um, customers come from overseas, from the, the different Asian countries like Japan and places and they would buy huge things of fish oil and take them home and I don't know if there's just different maybe um Penny Cricks knows but maybe there's regulations on buying supplements in Japan um but they would yeah they would just buy lots of it and they would talk about how good it is Woo! do that again Someone watched Magic School Bus. <laughs> Was that me? I don't think I ever watched it. Oh, gives dogs a nice silky coat. That's funny. So yeah, I'm not gonna paint those horns. I think I'm gonna leave those alone. 
I do need to paint the end of this tail. We were talking about how to blend this tail nice. We're going to add a little medium on the end here. See that? A little bit more medium. Blending in the embedded. There we go. I think I'm actually going to get these done. I feel good. I feel promise. Do natural daylight. Yes, they do. Everything helps when you have like the paint light here is full spectrum. If I made a habit of painting under it every day, even that would help. Um, every, every, like, so it's just gotta, it's gotta be full spectrum and it's gotta be bright enough and you have to be consistent. Those are the three factors that I found, um, make a difference for me, but everybody's different. You know, some people are, you know, make more serotonin, you know, and don't need as much. Some people need more. Some people need to full on take antidepressants in the winter in addition to using a light box. Thankfully, I'm I'm not that level. If I if I'm being active with my light box, I tend to not need medication, which is really nice because I always one year it was two years ago, I was going through a lot of stuff and I had to take meds and use my light box. Um, and I had all these crazy side effects from the medication that made it difficult for me to work. And I had to wait until pretty much spring to get better because I had to be on medication. My mom always says better living through chemistry. I love that. <laughs> you think that's called jaundice. Jaundice is when you turn yellow and then your liver is not metabolizing toxins and so it's showing up in your skin that's what john does your grandmother yes to make me take cod liver there's i think there's something with cod liver that's supposed to be good for you too i mean i think it's just along the same lines as um it would be yucky to taste though right Ugh. but i think it's along the same lines as the fish oil it's got the same goodness in it I think back then it was like considered almost like a cure-all and people took it to get keep from getting sick. All right, she's good. She's good. She's good. I do want to paint her little horns dark on the top. I'm going to have to get the blending juice here, this medium. It's not wanting to blend right now. Do the red in the middle. Ooh, that's cool looking. Yeah, actually, I like that even better. That's the tr that's transparent red that I just put on there, and that that blends nice. She looks pretty demonic now. All right, since we already did her skin, let's do do that now. We'll do the highlights on the skin. You can turn orange with alcohol. Ooh, I didn't know that orange. Sounds less judgmental than Jaundice. <laughs> I'm not a paint eater. I, I usually try to rinse and then t uh, make the brush tip pointed. I really try to avoid paint eating though. I once um, used a paint brand um, and, and was a brush licker for an entire summer with this one particular paint brand and my tongue went numb and that was kind of not fortunate. And so I stopped being a brush licker after that. See these nice highlights? One more in the belly. See how cute that is? Dude, like I said, if I could if I could spend the time and really paint these to be awesome. The irony is that I'm actually slower on stream. And 
we're gonna paint this part and her ears brighter white and this this hand there we go I'll get this arm too over here back here Yeah, that's real talk. Cod liver oil is really good for you, but it's just horrible. Is there a way to take it in like a capsule form so you don't have to taste it? Because I could do that. I'll have to look into the, the properties of cod liver oil and what it does. Thank you for the follow, Luis Lopez Modelissimo. Hola. Or Chow, whichever, can't remember. Let's see, I need some more of this bronze. Ah. Have I tried Citadel? I haven't. What do you, do, what do you think? Have you tried them? Should I try them? What would I, what would they be good for me to do? Probably tabletop stuff. Gotta go, all right. Joanne, have a good one. My birthday is on, it'll be on your Wednesday. But yes, I hope that you're able to make the next stream. That'd be awesome. You can get capsules of cod liver oil, but the oil is so strong tasting that you can taste it through the capsules and after they're swallowed. Yes, oh, that's not fun. Well, it might be worth it though. I'm gonna look into it. I'm all about the self-care right now. And if it is going to make any part of my body better and make me feel better, I'm interested in looking into it at least. I think that cod liver oil probably has vitamin D in it because it's fish oil. I probably would take one or the other then you know, not both. How cute is she? Look at this. I'm gonna paint this little mask on her face. Oh yeah, now she looks mean like that. This whole part here. There's lots of metal on her to paint. So Alex says if you can stomach it, though, they would be good. Okay, I will look at I will like I said, I'll look into it. I'm sure that somebody has come up with some kind of burpless cod liver oil that won't taste bad because they we have we have science maybe somebody's maybe somebody's worked 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 up to it all right looks good let me check the chat again so chaos bond war game says i've tried the contrast paints I'm trying to paint exclusively with them for a year. They act a lot like inks and washes. I think I'd like them a lot, Chaos Spawn, because I'm a watercolorist and they definitely have potential to give a cool, like a watercolor style look. My only thing is that the price point for Citadel is high for what you get. And I also tend to bill Citadel paints like very easily. That's why all my Citadel paints, all I have now is the is these washes and I put them all in bottles because I was spilling them so much. It would make me cry and like it wasn't pretty. There's no crying in painting. Just kidding. All right, I'm getting all the little Arts here that are metal. She's got a lot. 
Oh, I forgot. That is that. And then... Do a little over painting, over brushing with the side of my brush to get that little emblem. That looks good. I think that's, like I said, we, some of it's going to be just good enough. There we go. All right. And I'll check chat again. Let's see, they act a lot like inks and washes. More pigment than both, the app, but the application is the same. Great for badge painting to tabletop quality. Oh, that's good to know. Because I am doing, like I said, I am doing more tabletop stuff than I have in the past. <laughs> Alex, that is amazing. I'm not going to repeat what you said, but I think that that is a good reason. <laughs> You guys are funny. Hey, Day Ray. Hello. How are you? Welcome. I like this pink jazzy top she's got. All right, real quick with this black, I'm going to go over the little chain she's got. I'm using a nice large brush for it. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, I think that might be it. This little ribbon here and this one here, that one gets to be a turquoise color. We have somewhere here, this one has turquoise. I'm gonna put the blue on first. Look at that contrast. Pink and turquoise looks so cool together. We already have it in the base. So that is going to look even better in the model because we have got just one more thing to kind of pop. But get in there. All right. This part is tricky because I've got tail in the way. Got squeak down there. There we go. I got it. Nice. Check more chat. I love this topic. <laughs> go back to studying. All right, Zombie Toast, thank you for coming by. Uh, Luminous doesn't want the contrast paints. He just got rid of all the Citadel stuff because it just sat in the box. Blessing, collecting dust and cat hair. That's a, that's a very visual, that's a visual thing. You got to call it a night painting cricks. All right. Thank you. You have a good night. Day Ray's trying to figure out how you want to wind down for the night. Well, definitely come and chill with us and have, have, have a nice little easy stream. I'm going to grab this jade color out because I need it. Yes. Only Citadel paint I use is their blood effects paint, like drippy blood effects. Nice. Oops. See this paint. Hang on. Oh, now I can try to get some of this out. That might be enough. Okay, I've heard it. I heard the ball bearing fall down. There we go. This is the jade from, it's a really nice, deep, turquoise color. And I'm just going to, it's already wet there, so I can just kind of add it in and wet blend it up. See? I can get this side without too much. It's good enough. Make sure they, I think not all of them have those. Ah, I forgot to paint the, the silver on these doodads. Aw, thank you for the follow. 
That is from Gorilla Beats. Thank you. Welcome. How are you? See how I just did that little tiny dude on this one. So I'm kind of looking to see where the highlight from the overhead lamp is. And that's where I'm kind of touching it. Just doing a little thing like that. And make that blend a little better too. Same thing with this. I'm gonna paint this whole sickle silver. That looks good. Rebel Star says, Good night, Painting Cricks. Thanks, kid, for the gifted sub. Yeah, that was so nice of him. He does that a lot. He's given 19 subs to the channel. It's just, we have a really great crew here of people that come and watch. And I think a big part of the, the fun of this channel is the other people that come. We have good people. All right, I'm gonna finish this part. And so remember this black over here, we're just gonna kind of dry, it's not dry brush cause we're, it's not dry. We're just hitting that right there. And that's good. And then we can go back with the silver now. And we're just gonna look where the, where the um, overhead light is hitting that reflection part. And then with the white metal, the metallic medium, ah, I need to rinse my brush. We add this part and that's that final highlight that's just really, really pops. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Love it. That's awesome. And then we can do a little bit on this side too. Mix some of that with my copper. And we get those highlights as well. I think we're almost done with this girl. Oop, stuff's sticking to me. All right, now the last bit is the eyes, which I'm gonna paint black to start. And then I'll fill that in with a little red. We got black on this one already, so we can put the red on now. And I'm just gonna use my red red, this one. It's really bright and pigmented. It's got, it was one of the best reds I've ever had. Mouse catching duty's done. Awesome. You don't want to try to pull them out of the cat's mouth. No, that's you. The win. Oh, no. The moon says, we had a Newfound Newfoundland that caught mice, and he never killed them. He just kept them in his mouth until someone took it. Well, that's good, right? Except for you had to have that job. We had mice last year. They came into the... They came into the house because we live kind of out kind of on the edge of town and you could hear them in the walls and they creeped me out. And finally a neighbor called the pest control because we live in a condo so they, you know, we're all connected and so we're all getting the mice together. Whether whoever will start, oh, that's kind of, I don't know about that. Well, we'll just leave it. Um. Somebody finally called and then got rid of them. And now I'm hoping they're just gone for good now. All right, these keep sticking to my sleeves. Well, that's the best one so far. This is the best eyes. Ish. The easiest ones to reach.
Okay. Good. We're done with those. Oh my gosh. What time do we have? I like to always look and see if I need to repaint the rims. And it looks like I've already done it. There's schmutz on here from this. See if I can get that off. My, my client's going to magnetize these, so hopefully that won't make a difference. All right, let's take a look. Do you guys think that there's anything left? And like I said, they're still tabletops. So I don't want to do something too crazy. Let's add just, let's see what happens when I add just a little white to the ends of the hair. So she says, schmutz. Got a great video of a catching the rat. Oh my gosh. Let's just put a little bit of white on the end of this girl's hair and see what it looks like. Kind of cool. I like that. That feels cool. Rule of cool, right? A little bit of blending with the pink in here. There we go. I like that white on the end. All right, let's do it with all of them. That'll add that. Oh, that one doesn't have any hair, so she, that one doesn't get it. This one does, though. Oh, I like that. That last little bit of white on the end of that. That's cool. Okay. This one has hair. That one already has a little bit of white on the end of it. Follow through. Okay. Sweet. Now I like them a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Done. I'm so glad. Love finishing stuff. I just have to do the bases and stuff. I'm going to work on that later. It's not as crucial. The main model is mainly done, so that's the important part. You like the hair bit? But show she's old color job. You're right. I did used to have pink hair, and um, I, I had it dyed again so that it's back to brown. I'm going to be coloring it again soon. It's going to go very dark for the winter, chocolatey, chocolatey brown. My sister said, no, keep the highlights, but we'll see. All right, let's let's check. And now that I'm done, I'm gonna look for somebody awesome to host. I just need to fix that little spot right there. Okay. And we will be back on Friday. We'll be doing a giveaway on Friday, so please please come back four to seven p.m. GMT minus six Chicago time. If you want to remember that. Yes. Thank you. Stick around. Let's find somebody cool to raid and share the love with everybody in Twitch. Give me one second here. There's our last music. And I'm gonna look for somebody cool. Host. Okay. Lazy Farm Lexi, what is this? I can't remember who this is. The Laylee is also painting. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. This, uh, the Laylee, oh no wait, Lazy Fun Lexi is sculpting. I think a very cool model. Let's go ahead and rate her. I think that it'll be cool to see somebody in the art community. Looks like she's sculpting a character from can't tell what the name of the show is, but she's sculpting a, a cartoon character. Pretty cool. Hold on one second. Okay. Don't be on my screen. Just wait. Oh. <laughs> Do this. There we go. All right. We're going to raid and go, go ahead and join the raid with me. 
There's a lazy fawn, Lexi. Tell her that show she sent you with lots of mad love. And come back on Friday. We'll do this again. We'll have more fun. And I will see you then. Bye, guys.